Oh. Not live, but it will be on YouTube. I'm at the Riviera Club on the north side of Indianapolis, and we're gonna run this waterproof, shockproof, dustproof, crushproof, and freezeproof camera through these gates to see what comes out on the other side. Let's do this. Hey everyone, this is Michael Durr from PhotoPXL.com, and today we're gonna to be diving in with the Olympus TG6. As listed on the Olympus website, the TG6 is built for adventure. But in our case here today, it's built for fun at the water park. It's fun, it's, it's, I need a thesaurus. Uh, it's splash-tastic. <laughs> Olympus has loaned us this camera for the past couple of weeks. And I have to say, it's made quite the splash in our family photography. The overall design and ergonomics was a throwback to the point and shoot era. I kind of missed it. The camera comes in red and black, which works for me either way. Hi. It's easy to hold even underwater. The battery and SD card are nestled safely behind this locking door on the bottom of the camera. And there's also a safety lock on the USB and HDMI door on the side of the camera to ensure no water can get in. Just be sure to lock the doors before jumping in. It also has a quarter inch tripod mount for when you're doing your macro photography. The camera has a 12 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor and the F 2.0 anti-glare wide angle lens was great, especially while shooting underwater. I found the autofocus to work well enough and it wasn't too hard to see the three inch LCD monitor even in the blazing sun. I didn't have any major issues with the functionality of the menu and buttons and I was even able to make some adjustments while underwater. The camera can shoot up to 20 frames per second. And in the case of trying to capture things like splashes, dumps, and jumps, the more frames, the better. It also has a four times optical zoom, which is great for getting a little closer to the action. You can even get closer with an additional four times digital zoom, but I always try to avoid digital zoom unless absolutely necessary. I found most of the time I didn't zoom at all and I just got as close to my subject as I could. The TG6 captures 4K 30p video and full HD video at 120 frames per second. I even had some fun shooting with the 1280 x 720, 240 frames per second. Some people would say that 1280 x 720 is useless. I would say it's more than adequate to post a few fun clips on Instagram. Yes, I even shot some clips vertically. This was the first Olympus underwater camera I have ever used. And if you're interested to see how this camera stacks up against other underwater cameras of the same class, our friends at DP Review did a great comparison video that is linked in the description below. Clearly Olympus has marketed this camera to the outdoor adventurer, but I would say anyone that spends time in the water would love this camera. I personally enjoyed shooting photos of my wife and son in the pool or on the splash pad, and the resolution of the camera would allow me to easily print some 8x10s to toss up on the family photo wall. What about just capturing? That's what I pay you for. Oh wait. <laughs> I also found when you're juggling a kit or two, it's nice to have a worry-proof camera that protects against drops and spills. In addition to all of this, the camera has a pretty incredible macro system, allowing you to focus as close as one centimeter from the lens. There's also a focus stacking mode that automatically captures and merges three to 10 macro shots at different focus points. I did shoot raw, with the exception of the first time I used the camera when I failed to check my menu settings and ended up shooting everything in JPEG. But guess what? The world didn't end and the images still came out great. And before Jared Poland loses his I did prefer to shoot raw, and I always love to process my images on my desktop when I return home. I pretty much stayed in aperture priority, and I found in some cases, when the water was flying, I just blindly shot, hoping that I would capture something cool. And that's really where the fun came in. At one point or another, I am sure we have all created great images on accident. One of my favorite things about this camera is you don't need a bunch of accessories or attachments for it. You can pretty much open the box and toss it in the water. I like the size and how it looks and feels. You don't always need to connect to your mobile device unless you want to offload your images on the go. There are some accessories for this camera, including a fisheye lens, which I do think would have been helpful in some scenarios. 
it can go places your mobile device can't. And comparing a camera like this to something like a GoPro or other action cam is really comparing apples to oranges. They're just different. Overall, this camera is... Thank you. Overall, this camera's fun. And I think it proves that there's still room, even in today's market, for the point and shoot. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to visit photopxl.com where we're enhancing your vision. I do wish it was fireproof. Actually, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs>